Well, here we are, the first step of our journey, leading to the premiere of Star Wars Episode 7. So, I know a lot of people are going to think we're crazy for buying a movie ticket just to see a 90 second uh, teaser trailer, which we've already seen 10 times online. But, 11. <laughs> 11. But, I think there's a little. I think there's worse things to be crazy for, like Twilight films or Michael Bay films. And hey, it's Star Wars. So, and I think that there's just something magical about being able to see it on the big screen. Yeah, I agree. I mean, like, first Star Wars came out in 1977. I wasn't even a twinkle in my daddy's eye yet. I was born the next year. So, I didn't even get to see it in 1997 when they re-released it for the special editions because I was in boot camp. So anytime I get a chance to see anything Star Wars on the big screen, I'm going to take it. Right. So I just I was deprived as a child. I didn't get to see that. Crazy for buying a movie ticket just to see a 90 second teaser trailer? No, you are. You paid for it. <laughs> I may be just a little bit crazy, but I'm still a fan at heart, and I still think it's worth it. Well, you know, it's the chances to get to see it on the big screen. Yeah, all right, it was on iTunes yesterday, and we all got to see it on our computers. And yeah, I have a pretty sweet surround sound system for my computer because I'm a geek. But it's not on the big screen. It's not in THX or Sony Dynamic Digital Surround. And well, there's something magical about being able to see it on the big screen. I mean, I think trailers are just like movies where it's meant to be seen on a big screen with yeah. other fans. The, the size and scope of it and the fact that the sound will blow your doors off, I mean, it's just... You're not in awe of the computer screen. <laughs> because that's how we roll with that nerd show. No, I I don't I think this is very much worth the money. And it may be the fanboy inside of me that, you know, will buy which will make me buy this. But and it's and it is only a teaser trailer. You know, we don't know that much about the film. But to be able to get to see the Millennium Falcon fly again, you know, uh you know, to see an image of the of the new bad guy with another new lightsaber. And, you know, people always say, well, why why is there such a big connection to Star Wars? Well, it it's not really science fiction. It's more fantasy in, science, right. in space, which means you put together two of everybody's great fantasies to go to the stars and to be a sword-wielding knight in the stars. Exactly. You get to be King Arthur in space. <laughs> like, the only thing that I really need in this day and age is I need a really cool lightsaber duel, and I need the Millennium Falcon. And, uh, and, and please, please, <laughs> Lawrence Kasdan, J.J. Abrams, Kathleen Kennedy, no sappy romance, okay? Not, if, if You can have a little in there. Han and Leia was great. It was just enough. It was a little funny. It was a little heartwarming. Right. So we, don't need, we don't need an hour and a half of Twilight messing up uh, episode two, okay? No. That's my plea to you. But if we could have one more cool uh, Harrison Ford line, I love you, I know, that would be great too. Just way better than anything that we could possibly probably get with Star Wars. Yep, absolutely. And it, it'll make us forget that, you know, Hayden person, that Whoa. the name we will not mention for this documentary. <laughs> he you will shall not, not be named. named. Only 384 more days until episode 7. Shit, this is going to be a long wait. When's the next trailer? <laughs> <laughs>